the greatest revolution of our generation is the discovery that human beings, by changing the inner attitudes of their minds, can change the outer aspects of their lives. Have you ever pondered the weight of those words, the sheer power they hold? This truth, uttered by a great thinker, forms the bedrock of our exploration today. We stand at the precipice of a profound realization, the ability to shape our reality through the simple act of saying no. When was the last time you said no to something that didn't align with your deepest desires? How did it feel? Did you experience a surge of empowerment or did guilt knot your conscience? Your answer reveals much about your relationship with this two-letter word that holds the key to unlocking your true potential. No isn't just a word. It's a force that carves the path to your ideal life. But why does no wield such power? To understand this, we must first grasp the nature of reality itself. Reality in its purest form is a reflection of our consciousness. Every thought, every belief, every decision we make ripples through the fabric of our existence, shaping the world we perceive. When we say yes to everything, we dilute our power. We scatter our energy across a thousand different directions, never fully committing to any single path. But when we learn to say no, we concentrate our power. We focus our energy on what truly matters, on what aligns with our innermost. Think of your mind as a garden. Every time you say yes, you plant a seed. But not all seeds lead to beautiful flowers or nourishing fruits. Some grow into weeds that choke out the plants you truly want to cultivate. Saying no is like weeding your mental garden, creating space for your true desires to flourish. But it's not enough to say no once or twice. We must learn to say it many times over. Why? Because the world doesn't stop testing our resolve after one refusal. It constantly presents us with choices, temptations, and distractions that threaten to derail us from our chosen path. Each no is a brick in the foundation of your ideal reality. Each refusal strengthens your resolve, sharpens your focus, and brings you closer to manifesting your deepest desires. Now, you might be thinking, but isn't saying no negative? Shouldn't we embrace opportunities rather than reject them? This is a common misconception. Saying no isn't about negativity. It's about selection. It's about choosing what serves your highest good and rejecting what doesn't. Remember, every no to something that doesn't serve you is a yes to something that does. It's a yes to your dreams, your goals, your true self. It's a yes to the life you've always imagined but perhaps never dared to claim. Consider the concept of a sculptor creating a masterpiece. The sculptor doesn't add clay to form the statue. Instead, they chip away at the excess, revealing the beauty hidden within. Your life is that block of marble, and each is a chisel stroke, removing what doesn't belong to reveal the masterpiece of your true potential. But here's the crucial part. The power of no lies, not just in the word itself, but in the consciousness behind it. When you say no, you must do so from a place of inner knowing, a place of alignment with your true self. It's not about rejection. It's about selection. It's about choosing your reality with intention and purpose. This brings us to a fundamental truth. You are the author of your life story. Every yes and every no is a word in that story. By learning to say no many times over, you take control of the narrative. You become the conscious creator of your reality rather than a passive character pushed along by circumstances. But how do we cultivate this power? How do we learn to say no, not just once, but many times over? The key lies in understanding the nature of your own consciousness. Your consciousness is the lens through which you perceive and interact with the world. It's the foundation of your reality. When you change your consciousness, you change your world. And one of the most powerful ways to change your consciousness is through the words you speak, both to others and to yourself. Every time you say no to something that doesn't align with your true desires, you're making a declaration to the universe. You're stating with clarity and conviction what you will and will not accept in your reality.
This declaration reverberates through the fabric of your existence, reshaping your world in subtle yet profound ways. But here's the catch. Saying no isn't always easy. Our society often equates saying yes with being kind, helpful, or ambitious. We're taught from a young age to seize every opportunity to never turn down a chance for growth or success. But this mindset can lead us astray, pulling us in too many directions and diluting our power. Learning to say no requires courage. It requires faith in yourself and your vision. It requires the strength to stand firm in the face of pressure, guilt, or fear of missing out. But with each no, you grow stronger. You become more aligned with your true self, more in tune with your deepest. Think of it this way. Every time you say yes to something that doesn't serve your highest good, you're saying no to something that does. You're saying no to your dreams, your goals, your ideal self. By learning to say no to others, you're really saying yes to yourself. This isn't about being selfish or closed off to the world. It's about being selective. It's about curating your life experiences with intention and purpose. It's about creating space in your life for what truly matters. Imagine for a moment a life where you only said yes to what truly resonates with your soul. A life where your time, energy, and resources are dedicated solely to what brings you joy, fulfillment, and growth. This is the power of no. It clears the path for your truest. But remember, this isn't a one-time decision. It's a practice, a way of life. You must learn to say no many times over in big ways and small. Each no is an affirmation of your worth, your values, and your vision for your life. As you embark on this journey of saying no, you likely face resistance, both from others and from within yourself. You might worry about disappointing people, missing opportunities, or being perceived as difficult or uncooperative. These fears are natural, but they are also illusions. The truth is, when you honor yourself by saying no to what doesn't serve you, you become more authentic, more powerful, and more capable of making a positive impact in the world. You become a beacon of intentional living, inspiring others to do the same. Moreover, as you practice saying no, you find that your yes becomes more powerful. When you do choose to say yes, it will come from a place of genuine enthusiasm and alignment rather than obligation or fear. Your commitments will be fewer, but more meaningful. Your actions will be more focused. This is the essence of shaping your reality through the power of no. It's about consciously choosing what you allow into your life and what you keep out. It's about recognizing that every decision, every word, every thought is a brush stroke on the canvas of your existence. As you continue to say no many times over, you begin to notice changes in your life. At first, these changes might be subtle, a sense of increased clarity a feeling of lightness, a reduction in stress or overwhelm. But over time, the effects will compound. You'll find yourself naturally gravitating towards experiences and opportunities that align with your true desires. You'll attract people and circumstances that resonate with your authentic self. This is because the universe responds to the energy you put out. When you consistently say no to what doesn't serve you, you're sending a clear message about what you will and won't accept in your reality. The universe listens and responds accordingly. Say no isn't about shutting yourself off from the world. It's not about building walls or living in isolation. Instead, it's about creating healthy boundaries that allow you to engage with the world on your own terms. Think of these boundaries as the banks of a river. They don't constrain the river. They give it direction and power. Without banks, a river would spread thin, losing its force and purpose. Similarly, your no gives direction and power to the flow of your life energy. As you practice saying no, you'll also develop a keener sense of discernment. You'll become more attuned to what truly resonates with your soul and what doesn't. This heightened awareness will serve you in all areas of your life, from your relationships to your career to your personal growth. Remember, every no is an act of self-love. 
It's a statement that you value yourself, your time, and your energy. It's an affirmation that you are worthy of living a life aligned with your deepest truth. But saying no isn't just about what you don't want in your life. It's also about creating space for what you do want. Every no to something that doesn't serve you is a yes to something that does. It's a yes to your dreams, your passions, your purpose. As you continue on this path, you'll find that saying no becomes easier. It becomes a natural extension of your self-respect and self-awareness. You'll no longer feel guilty or anxious about turning down what isn't aligned with your vision. Instead, you'll feel empowered, centered, and in control of your life's direction. This is the true power of no man. It puts you in the driver's seat of your own life. It allows you to consciously create your reality rather than merely reacting to circumstances. It transforms you from a passive observer of your life to an active creator. As we near the end of this exploration of the power of no, I invite you to reflect on your own life. Where might you benefit from saying no more often? What areas of your life feel cluttered or misaligned? How might your reality shift? If you began to consciously curate your experiences through the power of no. Remember, this isn't about drastic, overnight changes. It's about small, consistent choices that add up over time. It's about gradually aligning your outer world with your inner truth. It's about shaping your reality one no at a time. As you move forward, carry with you the knowledge that you have the power to shape your reality. You have the right to choose what you allow into your life. You have the ability to create a life that truly resonates with your soul. Embrace the power of no. Use it wisely. Use it often. And watch as your world transforms around you. For in learning to say no many times over, you're really saying yes to your truest, most authentic self. And there's no greater power than that. As we continue our exploration of the power of no, we find ourselves at the cusp of a profound transformation. We've understood that saying no is not merely a refusal, but a powerful act of creation. Now, we turn our attention to the art of refusal itself, a skill that, when mastered, becomes the chisel with which we sculpt. How often have you found yourself saying yes? When every fiber of your being screamed, no. What would your life look like if you had the courage, the clarity, and the conviction to honor your true desires? The art of refusal is not about negativity or isolation. It's about alignment, authenticity, and the conscious creation of your life experience. It's about saying no to the good so you can say yes to the great. It's about clearing the clutter from your life to make room for what truly matters. But how do we master this art? How do we overcome the ingrained habits, societal pressures, and internal resistance that often make saying no feel so challenging? The first step is to recognize that every no is, in fact, a yes to something else. When you say no to a commitment that doesn't align with your goals, you're saying yes to your own priorities. When you say no to a relationship that drains your energy, you're saying yes to self-respect and personal growth. When you say no to distractions, you're saying yes to focus and productivity. This shift in perspective is crucial. It transforms the act of refusal from a negative, restrictive action into a positive, empowering choice. It aligns the act of saying no with your deepest desires and highest aspirations. But knowledge alone is not enough. To truly master the art of refusal, we must develop practical techniques that allow us to say no effectively and consistently. These techniques are not about being harsh or confrontational. They're about being clear, respectful, and true to yourself. One powerful technique is the pause. When faced with a request or opportunity, resist the urge to respond immediately. Instead, take a breath. Create a moment of space between the stimulus and your response. In that space, ask yourself, does this align with my true desires? Does it serve my highest good? Will saying yes to this mean saying no to something more important? This pause allows you to respond from a place of conscious choice. Rather than habitual reaction, 
It gives you the opportunity to align your response with your true intentions, rather than succumbing to pressure or guilt. Another crucial technique is the use of empowering language. Instead of apologizing for saying no, express gratitude for the opportunity. Instead of making excuses, state your decision clearly and firmly. For example, rather than saying, I'm sorry, I can't do that, you might say, thank you for thinking of me. I've decided to focus my energy elsewhere at this time. This shift in language not only makes your refusals more effective, but it also reinforces your own sense of empowerment. It reminds you that saying no is not something to feel guilty about, but a positive choice that honors your priorities and values. As you practice these techniques, you may encounter resistance, both from others and from within yourself. You may face guilt, fear of missing out, or concern about disappointing others. These feelings are natural, but they are also based on illusions. The truth is, when you learn to say no effectively, you become more reliable, more authentic, and more respected. You become someone who knows their own mind, who values their time and energy, and who follows through on their commitments. Fair from alienating others, as clarity and authenticity often draws people towards you. Moreover, as you consistently honor your own boundaries and priorities, you set an example for others to do the same. You create a ripple effect of intentional living that can transform not only your life, but the lives of those around you. But mastering the art of refusal is not just about external action. It's also about internal alignment. It's about cultivating a deep sense of self-awareness and self-trust that allows you to recognize what truly resonates with your soul. This inner work is perhaps the most crucial aspect of mastering the art of refusal. It involves getting quiet, turning inward, and listening to the voice of your true self. It involves questioning your beliefs, examining your motivations, and aligning your actions with your deepest values. One powerful way to cultivate this inner alignment is through visualization. Take a moment now to close your eyes. Visualize yourself as the person you aspire to be, confident, clear, aligned with your purpose. See yourself saying no with ease and grace to things that don't serve your highest good. Feel the sense of empowerment and freedom that comes from honoring your true desires. This visualization is not mere fantasy. It's a powerful tool for reshaping your self-image and, by extension, your reality. As you consistently hold this image of your empowered self in your mind, you'll find it easier to embody that self in your daily life. Another powerful tool is the practice of mindfulness. By cultivating present moment awareness, you become more attuned to your true feelings and desires. You become better able to distinguish between genuine opportunities and distractions. You become more skilled at recognizing when A knows needed. As you develop these inner resources, you'll find that saying, no becomes less of a struggle and more of a natural expression of your authentic self. You'll no longer need to force yourself to refuse what doesn't serve you. Instead, your no will flow naturally from your clear sense of purpose and self-awareness. But remember, mastering the art of refusal is not a destination. It's a journey. It's a skill that you'll continue to refine and develop throughout your life. Each no is an opportunity for growth, for greater alignment, for deeper self-understanding. As you continue on this journey, you may encounter challenges. There may be times when saying no feels difficult or uncomfortable. There may be moments when you doubt yourself or feel tempted to fall back into old patterns. In these moments, remind yourself of why you're doing this. Remember that each no is a step towards your ideal life. Each refusal is an act of self-love, a declaration of your worth, a commitment to your highest good. Moreover, as you master the art of refusal, you'll find that your yes becomes more powerful. When you do choose to say yes, it will come from a place of genuine enthusiasm and alignment. Your commitments will be fewer but more meaningful. Your actions will be more focused, more impactful. This is the true power of mastering the art of refusal. 
It's not just about saying no. It's about creating space for your most emphatic yes. It's about curating your life experiences with intention and purpose. It's about becoming the conscious creator of your reality. As we near the end of this exploration of the art of refusal, I invite you to reflect on your own life. Where might you benefit from a more skillful no? What areas of your life feel cluttered or misaligned? How might your reality shift if you began to consciously curate your experiences through the power of refusal? Remember, this isn't about perfection. It's about progress. It's about making small, consistent choices that align with your true self. It's about gradually reshaping your reality through the power of your decisions. As you move forward, carry with you the knowledge that you have the power to shape your life through your choices. You have the right to say no to what doesn't serve you. You have the ability to create a life that truly resonates with your soul. Embrace the art of refusal. Practice it with intention, with compassion, and with the knowledge that each no brings you closer to your truest yes. For in mastering the art of refusal, you're really mastering the art of living authentically. And as we transition into our final exploration, remember that this journey of mastery is ongoing. Each refusal, each boundary set, each priority honored is a brushstroke on the canvas of your life. The art of refusal is not just a skill to be learned, but a way of being to be embodied. It's about becoming so aligned with your true self that saying no to what doesn't serve you becomes as natural as breathing. In our next segment, We'll examine how this mastery of refusal ripples out into every aspect of your life, transforming not just your immediate circumstances, but your entire world. We'll explore how the consistent practice of selective acceptance, saying no to the non-essential, to what truly matters, can lead to profound manifestation and a life lived with purpose. So as we pause here, take a moment to reflect on what you've learned. How has your perspective on saying no shifted? What new possibilities can you see opening up in your life as you embrace this art of refusal? Hold these thoughts, these new perspectives, close to your heart as we prepare to dive even deeper into the transformative power of selective acceptance. As we step into this final phase of our exploration, we find ourselves at the threshold of a profound truth. The power to transform your entire world lies within your ability to selectively accept what aligns with your deepest desires and highest good. This selective acceptance, born from mastering the art of refusal, is the key to manifesting the life you've always dreamed of. Take a moment to reflect on your life as it stands now. Are you living in alignment with your true self? Are your days filled with experiences that resonate with your soul's purpose? Or do you find yourself constantly battling against the tide of obligations, distractions, and misaligned commitments? The answers to these questions reveal the extent to which you've embraced selective acceptance in your life. For many, the habit of saying yes to everything has created a world cluttered with experiences that don't serve their highest good. But it doesn't have to be this way. Selective acceptance is about consciously choosing what you allow into your life. It's about saying no to the non-essential so you can say yes to what truly matters. This practice isn't just about managing your time or energy. It's about curating your entire life experience. When you selectively accept only what aligns with your true desires, you set in motion a powerful ripple effect. Each no to what doesn't serve you creates space for something that does. Each boundary you set reshapes the landscape of your reality. Each intentional choice, you make sends a clear message to the universe about what you're willing to accept in your life. But how does this transformation actually occur? It begins with a shift in consciousness. As you consistently practice selective acceptance, you'll find your awareness expanding. You'll become more attuned to the subtle energies of your experiences. You'll develop a keener sense of what truly resonates with your soul, this heightened awareness is the foundation of manifestation. When you're clear about what you want and what you don't want, you become a powerful magnet, attracting experiences that align with your desires and repelling those that don't. 
What would your life look like if you only said yes to what truly excites and inspires you? How would your relationships change if you only engaged in interactions that uplift and energize you? What would your career look like if you only pursued opportunities that align with your deepest passions and values? These questions aren't just hypothetical. They're invitations to step into a new reality, a reality shaped by your conscious choices rather than by default or obligation. As you continue to practice selective acceptance, you notice changes not just in your immediate circumstances, but in the very fabric of your reality. Opportunities that align with your true desires will seem to appear out of nowhere. People who resonate with your authentic self will be drawn into your life. Situations that once seemed challenging will resolve themselves with surprising ease. This isn't magic or wishful thinking. It's the natural result of aligning your outer world with your inner truth. When you consistently say no to what doesn't serve you, and yes to what does, you create a clear channel for your desires to manifest. But this transformation doesn't happen overnight. It's, it's, it's a process, a journey of continual refinement and alignment. Each day presents new opportunities to practice selective acceptance, to choose consciously, to shape your reality with intention. One powerful way to accelerate this transformation is through the practice of living in the end. This involves not just visualizing your desired reality, but embodying it in your thoughts, feelings, and actions right now. For example, if you desire a life of purpose and for fulfillment, begin making decisions as if you're already living that life. Ask yourself, what would a person living a purposeful, fulfilled life choose in this situation? Then make your choice accordingly. This practice of living in the end isn't about pretending or denying your current reality. It's about aligning your consciousness with your desired state of being. It's about becoming the person who naturally attracts and creates the experiences you desire. As you consistently embody this state of being, you'll find your external reality beginning to shift to match your inner world. This is the essence of manifestation. Not wishing for things to change, but becoming the change you wish to see. But remember, this process of transformation through selective acceptance isn't always easy. You may face resistance of both from others and from within yourself. You may encounter fear, doubt, or the temptation to fall back into old patterns. In these moments, remind yourself of the power of your choices. Remember that each no to what doesn't serve you is a yes to your highest good. Each boundary you set is an act of self-love and self-respect. Each conscious choice you make is a step towards your ideal reality. Moreover, as you continue on this path of selective acceptance, you'll find that your choices become more refined, more aligned with your true self. What once seemed desirable may lose its appeal as you become more tuned to your authentic desire. What once seemed challenging may become effortless as you align more fully with your purpose. This ongoing refinement is a natural part of the process. It's a sign of growth of expanding awareness, of deepening self-understanding. Embrace it. Allow yourself to evolve. Trust that each shift is bringing you closer to your truest, most authentic self. As your practice of selective acceptance deepens, you'll also notice changes in your relationships. You may find some relationships naturally falling away as you become less willing to engage in dynamics that don't serve your highest good. At the same time, new relationships that align with your authentic self will naturally emerge. This shift in relationships is not about rejecting or judging others. It's about honoring your own growth and allowing others the space to follow their own paths. It's about creating a social environment that supports and enhances your journey rather than hindering it. Remember, the people in your life are mirrors, reflecting back aspects of your own consciousness. As you transform through selective acceptance, don't be surprised if your relationships transform as well. This is all part of the beautiful process of aligning your outer world with your inner truth. But perhaps the most profound transformation 
you experience through selective acceptance is in your relationship with yourself. As you consistently honor your true desires, as you courageously say no to what doesn't serve you, you'll develop a deep sense of self-trust and self-respect. You'll begin to see yourself as the powerful creator of your reality rather than a victim of circumstances. You'll recognize your inherent worth, not based on external validation or accomplishments, but on your ability to choose consciously and live. This shift in self-perception is the true gift of selective acceptance. It's the foundation of a life lived with purpose, passion, and fulfillment. It's the key to unlocking your full potential and manifesting your deepest desire. As we near the end of our exploration, I invite you to take a moment to envision the reality you wished to create. See it clearly in your mind's eye. Feel the emotions associated with living in that reality. Allow yourself to fully embody the person who naturally attracts and creates those experiences. And that vision firmly in mind, consider what do you need to say no to in order to make space for this vision? What boundaries do you need to set? What choices do you need to make differently? These questions aren't just food for thought. They're invitations to action. There are opportunities to put into practice everything we've explored about the power of no, the art of refusal, and the transformative potential of selective acceptance. As you move forward from this moment, carry with you the knowledge that you have the power to shape your reality through your choices. You have the right to say no to what doesn't serve you. You have the ability to create a life that truly resonates with your soul. Embrace the practice of selective acceptance. Use it consciously, use it consistently, and watch as your world transforms around you. For in learning to selectively accept what aligns with your true self, you're really learning to live a life of purpose, authenticity, and joy. Remember, this journey of transformation is ongoing. Each day presents new opportunities to practice selective acceptance, to refine your choices, to align more fully with your true self. Embrace these opportunities. Trust the process. Have faith in your own power to create the reality you desire. As you continue on this path, you may encounter challenges. There may be times when the old patterns resurface, when saying no feels difficult, when doubt creeps in. In these moments, return to the practices we've experienced. Remember the power of the pause, the importance of empowering language, the transformative potential of living in the end. Most importantly, be patient and compassionate with yourself. Transforming your world through selective acceptance is a profound journey of growth and self-discovery. It's not about perfection. It's about progress. Celebrate each conscious choice. Each courageous no, each step towards alignment with your true self. And as you navigate this journey, remember that you're not alone. Every person who chooses to live consciously, who dares to say no to what doesn't serve them, who courageously pursues their authentic path, is your ally in this grand adventure of conscious creation. Together, we're part of a growing movement of individuals who are choosing to live intentionally to shape their realities with purpose, to transform their worlds through the power of selective acceptance. And as we each undertake this individual journey, we collectively contribute to the transformation of our shared world. So, as we conclude this exploration, I invite you to step fully into your power as the conscious creator of your reality. Embrace the practice of selective acceptance. Trust in your ability to discern what truly serves your highest good. Have faith in the transformative power of your choices. You remember, every no to what doesn't align with your true self is a yes to your ideal reality. Every boundary you set is a brushstroke on the canvas of your life. Every conscious choice you make is a step towards the world you wish to create. The power is yours. The time is now. Your ideal reality awaits. Through the practice of selective acceptance, through the courage to say no many times over, you have the ability to transform not just your immediate circumstances, but your entire life. Embrace this power. Use it wisely. And watch as your world 
transforms in beautiful and unexpected ways. For in mastering the art of selective acceptance, you're really mastering the art of conscious living. And there's no greater adventure than that.